My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 107 of the 120 Days to Jam Chemistry with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at esters. We've already said the laws under esters from naming, from reaction, from smell, and so on. Now, these are the things we've not said so far under esters, and these are the remaining things Jam expects you to know under esters as a carbonyl compound. Esters are also referred to as alkanoids or alkyl alkanoids. They have characteristic fruity smell. For example, pentai ethanoid has banana smell. This is the alkyl part C5H11 and the part carrying the COO is the alkanoid part. So, C5 is paint, then this side has two carbon, ita. So, pentai ethanoid has the banana smell. Why? Yes, C887, octai, CH3C. This is the alkanoid part, it has two carbons, that is ethanoid. So, octai ethanoid has the orange smell, pentai ethanoid has banana smell. Octai ethanoid has the orange smell. So other esters, they have different smell of fruits. But these are the things you should know. Hydrolysis of esters yields the corresponding alkanol and acid. When alkanol reacts with acid to form esters and water, it is called esterification. And it is a reversible reaction. The reverse reaction is hydrolysis. And this forms alkanol and acid. Esters, when you reduce them with strong reducing agents like this lithium tetrahydrate aluminate, you are going to form alkanoids. So esters are reduced to alkanoids. And the common uses of esters are thinner water. This thinner water is used as solvent by painters to dissolve paints. And they are used as perfume and cosmetic. Because of their sweet smell, most perfumes will definitely have one of these esters. And they are used as artificial flavoring of food to spice, to flavor food. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for properties and uses of esters. I trust you found this helpful. Feel free to let me know how you feel using the comment box. Feel free to reach out to me if you have questions, queries, inquiries. Feel free to install Flash Learner Jam app and begin to play with questions. Install using the YouTube description, visiting flashlearner.com or searching Flash Learner Jam on the Play Store. See you in the next episode.